show you how to sweat copper pipe. So the copper piping that we're gonna sweat is gonna be for uh, potable water, drinking water. Um, the reason I say that is when we are doing some uh, sweating, basically soldering, we wanna make sure that we're using lead-free components. So in this case, we have a lead-free solder and uh, that's uh, one thing to keep in mind. Another thing to uh, note here that I am going to use, uh, again, another lit free, but this is a tinning flux, different than just a flux by itself. Tinning flux, I'll open it up, you'll see inside, you'll see it's, uh, it's got some silver uh, tint to it and the reason for the silver tint is because it actually has uh, powdered uh, solder in it which will help with the soldering process now outside of uh, the tinning part of this flux the flux itself is used to I wouldn't say eliminate, but um, I would say uh, delay or uh, reduce the amount of oxidation on copper. What is oxidation on copper? It's basically whenever copper gets heated up, you'll see that uh, there is uh, black, uh, brown residue that is on the copper, and that is oxidation. And what this flux does, it creates a barrier. Therefore, it again, until the flux is uh, evaporated, um, until then, uh, it, uh, the oxidation is delayed. What's the benefit of that? Um, you really don't want to have oxidation because that uh, brown black residue that's on the copper while you're making your connection, it could um, present a leak down the road or immediately because um, the goal is to here's a here's a uh, just a simple coupling for a half inch copper pipe and this is our half inch uh, copper pipe so you'll notice that they're fit together it's a pretty snug fit but there is actually a gap between the two very small gap and that gap gets filled up with our um, solder so it seals. So that's really the, the uh, process that we're gonna go through. And again, to make sure that we don't have any foreign objects and we have a nice contiguous solder throughout our gap, we use the flux to uh, make sure that, uh, again, we delay the oxidation. I'm gonna just go ahead and cut, let's say we cut somewhere along this line here. When you look at the cutter, there is the blade that's sitting right on top of our cut line. So we make this tight enough that gives us a little bit of a resistance and then we turn. You can either turn the tool or the copper either way until you'll see here that uh, it's starting to make a mark until it gets to a point that it's turning pretty freely. Then I'll increase the resistance just like you're right in the uh, stationary bike, the old ones I guess, and turn again until it turns loose, then rather I should say the resistance is decreased. We increase the resistance until there it went. So we just cut our copper. That's our very simple basic cutter. Here's the copper that we cut. It gives us a nice clean line and here's the other side of it. So the next thing we do is we clean the copper for a couple of reasons. One, we wanna score the copper a little bit to give us little peaks and valleys uh, in the copper that uh, allows the uh, solder to flow in. 
At the same time, you want to get rid of any uh, foreign objects, debris. There's a nice shiny copper. Then what I'll do next is show you the other component that you can buy if you want instead of using the uh, emery cloth or sandpaper. Here's where our cut line was. This is where we're going to solder. You can use this to clean the copper. And then there it is right there, nice and clean. And then the other tool that I have is this brush that cleans inside of the copper pipe. And these are, you can pick these up. This is actually a Home Depot brand. You can pick these up at any hardware store. And uh, they come in different sizes. So most popular ones are gonna be your half inch for half inch copper. And then the next size up, which is a three quarter for three quarter pipe uh, copper. So there we have it right there. And this is our coupling. And you notice there is a little dot in the middle over here. This basically uh, allows for equal distance for both side of the copper that's coming in. So one, one copper piece comes in this way and uh, this becomes a stopper and one copper piece comes in this way and stops at the other end of it. So it makes it really easy. Uh, they also sell these without the stoppers. So you can slide this um, coupler. All right, so once we got it cleaned, we wanna make sure that we get rid of any of the leftover stuff. So we clean the copper like that. And we'll clean this side. Make sure we get it on the camera here. See how nice and shiny it is? That, that's what you want. I mean, the biggest issue that I've seen with folks trying to sweat copper pipes is number one, cleaning. So the next thing we do is we're gonna attach our propane tank to our torch head. This one actually has an igniter that's part of it. You can buy these as a kit. I think it's um, 20 bucks for a propane tank with a uh, little bit of solder. See, this is open already, so I'm gonna go ahead and close it off so we don't bleed off. And, and notice again, this was open, and that's the way I like to keep it is so to not put a lot of stress on the seal. I leave it open once it's disconnected so it stays in my uh, toolbox open. All right, so the next thing we do is we'll go ahead and fire this torch up. That's how simple it is. And then we can control a little bit of, of how hot our flame needs to be. This is just good enough for what we got here, which is our um, half inch pipe. Uh, so let me show you something real quick. See this discoloration? That's the uh, oxidation that's happening. So we're going to leave it alone for right now. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this flux that I have just to again demonstrate what this flux is doing for us. Put it in, let's say, a spot right about here. It's probably too hot for it. But you'll see here, that's copper. I mean, I'm sorry, that's uh, our uh, solder right there that is embedded in our flux. Again, it makes the process of soldering um, in my opinion, a little bit easier. So there you have it there. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sweat these pipes together. And in order to do that, we're gonna go ahead and put some flux right here. Again, keep in mind, this flux that we're using, it has some solder in it already, which again makes our process a little bit easier. So that's one spot right there. And Make sure we get in this on the video. There's our 
coupler right there that we cleaned earlier. Put these two pieces together like that. Nice and snug. And here's the other part. That we got right there. Okay, so that's that. We're done with the flux. Put these pieces together. This is what we're gonna solder, like that. And then, next thing I like to do again, take something like this, like a vice grip, but you don't wanna crimp down. You just want it to be gentle hold, like there. All right, so we want to heat on one side and hold the solder to the other side uh, and then have the solder flow through. So what I like to do first is heat up the male part and then the female part. And uh, while I'm heating up the female part, it will flow this direction. And uh, since we're on an incline, we're gonna heat this joint first allows the solder to flow this way and we may catch this side at the same time all right here we go so this is our we're going to heat up the male side test it almost almost there we go now it's flowing as soon as it starts flowing, I take my torch away. There, we got a nice bit of solder there. And we can do the same thing on this side. Let me switch hands. And we already got some solder there because of our uh, tin flux that we had going on. There you go, right there. That's all you need. Nice flow, done. We turn our torch off. I'm gonna release this, clean that, nice and clean. And then you can inspect the solder point and you'll see that the solder is nice all the way around. You don't have any gaps. Same on this side, you'll see right there. And if I wanted to get rid of this extra piece of solder, all I need to do is this. I'll show you real quick. Here we can put our torch back up. Close it. There's our torch. Open it up. Fire it back up. Then I can just Gently heat this side up if I want to get rid of that piece of solder that I don't want it to look ugly. And heat that up, there you went. Then I take my towel again. Looks a little bit better. There it is. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you like what you see out of this channel, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. And we're out.